hello in this uh, chapter <coughs> we are going to discuss first order rl and rc network before that in the beginning first we will see brief very brief introduction about capacitor and inductor we will not discuss physics related stuff here we will just see the its characteristics which are required to analyze a rl and rc network so first one <coughs> capacitor so if you consider a capacitor with i current and voltage v across it capacitance c how we can explain its behavior so we can write charge stored or accumulated on the plates of plates of capacitor is directly proportional to voltage applied across it across it so if we apply a more voltage across the capacitor then we will see more charge getting stored in the or getting accumulated on the plates of the capacitor so that itself we can write q is directly proportional to v and proportionality constant if you write cv where c is the capacitance okay now if i differentiate this with respect to time so we will get this expression where dq by dt is nothing but current so i equal to c dv by dt so this is the relationship between current and voltage of a capacitor so i equal to c times the dv by dt so if you want expression for v in terms of i so i can write like this dv equal to 1 by c i or i of t i can write dt and if you integrate with uh, between the time interval t equal to t0 to t equal to t then you will get v of t minus v of t0 equal to 1 by c i of t dt or if you write v of t then that will be equal to sorry here you have to write t0 and t then it will be 1 over c integration running from t0 to t i of t dt plus v of t0 so voltage across a capacitor is nothing but a voltage at initial time or uh, voltage at t equal to 0 initially what was the voltage across the capacitor plus 1 over c into integration from t0 to t i of t dt so this is the expression for um, voltage across a capacitor any anyway, we don't need this equation to solve the problems we will use the characteristics of a capacitor so we will see that what are the characteristics of a capacitor so characteristics of capacitor how you can explain the behavior of a capacitor so first one is there is no current through capacitor if the voltage across it is not changing with time so this is the first one no current no current flows through no current flows through capacitor if if voltage across it is not changing if voltage across it is not changing
with the time. So in a way we can tell the capacitor acts like an open circuit. Capacitor acts like an open circuit for DC. DC means you are not changing the current with time. <coughs> you are not changing the voltage with time. So in that case, DC voltage if you apply, uh, capacitor acts like an open circuit. No current flows through the circuit. So that is indicated by open circuit. Second one, this is very important, we are going to use this characteristic in the problem solving. So a capacitor, a capacitor resists abrupt change, abrupt change in voltage across it. For it, it needs an infinite current. So, if a capacitor is carry, having a voltage V0 at a particular instant of time, so you want to change that instantaneously, then you have to apply an infinite large current which is not possible. So, what I mean, first consider a resistor, if it is carrying a voltage 5 volt at t equal to certain instant of time, let it be t equal to 0, you would like to change its value from 5 volt to 6 volt. So, you will remove 5 volt battery and apply 6 volt battery. So, as suddenly what happens instantaneously, the voltage across resistor will change. It will not resist any change in the voltage. But if you consider a capacitor, initially it was 5 volt, suddenly you change the battery to 6 volt, it will not change instantaneously. It will take certain amount of time, ideally speaking it takes infinite amount of time to reach from 5 volt to 6 volt. But in practical cases we will see that later after 5 time constant it will reach the maximum value. Okay. So we will discuss that later. So finally a capacitor resists abrupt change in voltage across it. This concept will be clear in the, when we solve many problems there we will see how capacitor resists change in the voltage. Third one, an ideal capacitor, an ideal capacitor does not dissipate energy but stores only, energy but only stores it, only stores it. So that means, if you take a resistor, it will dissipate in the form of heat. It will dissipate the energy in the form of heat. But if you consider an ideal capacitor, it will not dissipate, it will store the energy. However, in practical cases, it will have series resistance and it will dissipate energy. So you cannot store the charge permanently there. Okay? So there will be discharge and in practical case, you it will dissipate. Okay? So that is about the characteristic. Now using this, we will define initial condition with respect to capacitor. Initial condition. So initial condition here, suppose if you consider a capacitor with voltage 0, voltage 0 at t equal to 0, a particular instant of time, no voltage is there across the capacitor. Now at t you want to change the condition of the circuit, you want to change the voltage across it and I will change that, I will do that action at t equal to 0. So soon after that, that is t equal to 0 plus, so we will define this instant of time that is called t equal to 0 plus. What do you mean by t equal to 0 plus? It is the soon after t equal to 0. It is a very, very tiny time interval. Soon after t equal to 0, what you get is 0 plus. Similarly, we can de uh, define t equal to 0 minus. Just before the t equal to 0 moment, that is 0 minus. So, in we will consider only t equal to 0 plus here. So, t equal to 0 plus means it is the moment 
just soon after t equal to 0 that moment that instant of time what will happen the capacitor voltage will not change because it resists abrupt change how to represent now this a voltage initial voltage is 0 so it will continue the voltage equal to 0 continues how to represent that 0 voltage it can be represented as a short circuit short circuit so here short circuit uh, represents no change in the voltage or zero voltage across the capacitor so that is represented is like something like short circuit okay so here short circuit indicates zero voltage across capacitor suppose if you consider a capacitor with v equal to v naught not zero volt v naught volt so that time at equal to zero we are considering here and you want to change the behavior of the circuit soon after that if you want to see the voltage it will not change it will not change the voltage across that so here also it was it retained the voltage at equal to zero same voltage it is retaining here also it will retain the same voltage what is that voltage v naught so it can be modeled as a voltage source with v naught value this this also i can write in the same way because it is can, it can be represented as a voltage source this one can be represented as a voltage source with v equal to 0 because initially there were no voltage across the capacitor same condition prevails so v equal to 0 that is nothing but a short circuit but here we have a voltage v naught so at t equal to 0 plus it can be modeled as a dc voltage source at v equal to v naught this is only at moment t equal to 0 plus however at time passes it condition changes okay so the voltage across the capacitor changes but i am talking only soon after t equal to 0 okay now similarly we can write final condition or steady state we can write steady state steady state steady state means you apply a dc voltage across a capacitor and do not change anything keep it as it is do not change any voltage it's called steady state capacitor will attain a steady state in that steady state what a, how capacitor can be modeled that we have already discussed here see this one characteristic no current flows through the capacitor if voltage across it is not changing with time you are keeping a constant voltage across a capacitor what happens no current flows so i have to represent model like that so if consider a capacitor and you have applied a dc voltage you are not changing with time how you can model it you can model it as something in which no current is flowing how we can represent nothing but a open circuit so you can represent it as open circuit at t equal to infinity means after long time you are not, you are not changing any voltage across the capacitor it will behave like an open circuit no current will be flowing you want to make current flow through this one you have to change the voltage that also at in soon instantaneously it, you cannot change you need some time then only it will change okay so this is about the capacitor